Welcome back to Algo.js. Today's question is leak code 19, remove emph node from end of list. So given the head of a linked list, remove the emph node from the end of the list and return its head. So the understanding of this question is pretty straightforward. We have in the first example, n is equal to two. So it's two back from the end and we need to remove that value in order to get this new list and return that as the output. Okay, so first thing, we need to decide how we are going to delete the node. And rather than thinking about it in a way of actually deleting, removing this node, what we need to think about is reassigning the next pointer of the previous value to exclude the for node. And that is how we will delete this. So that's the easy part. So how do we get the previous value? Well, in order to do that as efficiently as possible, we could utilize a two pointer technique. And with most questions concerning linked lists, we need to create some kind of dummy component that is pointing to head. So let's say we have dummy here, which is pointing to head. Okay, this, this node here can be initialized to any value. It doesn't really matter. It can be initialized to an arbitrary value. But this is where the left pointer is going to reside initially. And this is where the right pointer is going to be. Now we need to move the right pointer across by n nodes. So if we move the right pointer here, n is going to be equal to one. We move it along here, n is going to be equal to zero. So we've moved it n times. So that's the initial step. So the gap between the left and right pointer is of n nodes. And now we need to increment both the left and right pointer until the right pointer is residing at null. So left pointer moves here, right pointer moves here, left pointer moves here, right pointer moves here, left pointer moves here, right pointer moves here. So now that the left pointer is at the previous value, all we need to do is reassign left.next to left.next.next .next to exclude the node that we want to delete. And finally, what we need to return is we need to return dummy.next. Now this is a really important aspect of it. So say in the example, we have just one, and that is pointing to null. So this is the head. We carry out this logic that we just created. So dummy is pointing to head. We have removed it with the left and right pointer. So rather than pointing to head, dummy is pointing to the next node now. If we returned head here, we are going to get one as the result. So that's gonna error out. So we need to return dummy.next because we've reassigned dummy.next from head to the null value. So rather than getting one, we are going to get an empty array. So very important, when you create that node, always return dummy.next and not head. So time on this one is going to be of n operation. So n is the length of this linked list. Space is going to be of one. So let's start off the solution by creating the dummy node and we will set that to a new list node at zero. Let's set dummy.next to equal head. And then let's set the left pointer to equal dummy and the right pointer to equal head. So we need to move the right pointer across the linked list until it's n nodes apart from the left pointer. So while right and n is greater than zero, we can increment right and we can decrement n. Once we've done that, all we need to do is move both the left and right pointer until the right pointer is at null, so it's at the end of the linked list. So while right will increment left and we'll increment right, So now the left pointer is at the previous value, the right is at null. We need to skip the node we want to delete. So we set left at next equal to left dot next dot next. And then we return dummy dot next. Okay, let's see if that's worked. All right, let's submit it. And there you have it. 